I know when we started, I had said that we were going to be done with the whole of the construction around um, August. Then I also said that by September, we were going to go ahead and start the installation of the equipment and also do the testing in the whole of September so that by October, we are ready to start operating. But uh, our guys on the farm led by our operations team, they've been able to finish pretty quite fast. So, just to run you through what we have, the two doors open, the two twin doors open, but right now there is no need to open both. So the essence of the glass door is because we need to keep the cold air in. Uh, if you're coming in with like a mini truck, we have plates that can stay. So we have plates that you just drive and pass to come in so the doors can open all the way to the end. So we have plates that you can just drive over and come in. Um, so uh, we have our air conditioners and all, but some of these things will, will still increase the number of air conditioners that we have. Now, um, the warehouse or the processing facility is divided into two. We have the dry, this whole area is for the dried, while this other half is for the wet. So let's start from the wet, so that in case you have something wet, maybe you have your ginger, your garlic, your onions, your potatoes, whatever it is you need to dry. So we are still going to put a sink here, but for now we are ready to go. So this is the washer. So what I will do is turn on the machines so you get to see how it works. So we have the washer and all of that. This keeps coming off the wall. We need to probably do something that is much more sustainable. So here we have the washer so the way the system works uh, we have the delivery system that just carries the product up whatever you want to put beyond that we have air bubbles that does the washing from the base then so I want you to see the different stops so the tap connection will be done by tomorrow Friday that is when this will be able to bring out water but then we have the sprinklers that wash it so everything works together in tandem. So you put in whatever plants you have, they come, they land on this. This is the shaker that shakes off whatever thing you need to the water, excess water, and it goes to our underground pipe. The so whatever you are putting keeps shaking and drops here. It drops here. Then here we have the, the cutter, the slicer that slices whatever you want. So once it is turned on, you can see it starts to move. By increasing the speed of the blade, we automatically increase, reduce the size of whatever we want to cut. So I can increase the blade size I can reduce the blade size. So inside here you have the blade. Inside here we have the blade. So your vegetables get here, they begin to come down. So this is just a fan belt that carries the product up. It just takes whatever product that we are cutting, it brings it all the way to this place. That's just what that does. It's just bringing the plant to this place, whatever we are cutting. Now, inside here is where something beautiful happens. So, inside here, you notice we've already done some work. We've not just uh, finished all our cleanup because they had to work late. Here, all the vegetables comes in. A final sorting and cleanup happens here because all the tiny, tiny particles are trapped inside here while the others continue. So, these has three jobs. First, there is this cage that removes all the dirt and particles. So it picks up all the dirt and the particles. 
as it begins to roll, it picks up the dirt and particles. That is one. Two, we have a shaker that will help us to clean whatever it is so that the excess water is taken out. That is the job of the shaker, to remove all of the excess water. That is the job of the shaker. Then, the final part is the water pump because when the plant gets here, something needs to move it. And that is where the water pump comes in that moves your plant down. It moves the plant down. And the beautiful thing is all the water is recycled. All of the water is recycled. So the water comes here, goes back up, comes back, goes back up, all the water is recycled. So we are not having waste of water. All water is recycled. Now, this is where we pick up. So you notice for the few seconds that I turned it on, the remaining uh, cucumbers that we are caught have come out. Because I told you so, normally this is where we receive our plant. Whatever we are cutting, this is where we receive it. After this, if for example you need us to dry for you very fast, before we take it to the dryer, we bring it here. So this is the spin dryer. All this simply does is to spin. So you just put them in, it spins, all the water comes out and it is collected and taken to our reservoir outside. So that's just what this does. This is just a spin dryer. So that is what we do here. So this is just the cutter. Now the cutter is for slicing things. You don't want to go through this whole water process. Maybe you brought in your ginger, your peppers, your cabbage, whatever it is. This just helps us to slice without passing. Don't worry about it. Ready. The whole process of that, uh, what is it called? The water process of washing and all of that. So we'll just bring, either we are dropping it here. So here we have some blades. Or we put it here. Here we have another set of blades. And as usual, the faster you make the blade run, the smaller the sizes that you are going to get. So if we don't want the sizes to be big, if we want the sizes to be big, we make the blade run smaller or slower. If we want the sizes to be very small, we make the blade run very fast. So that is what this machine is for. That's fine. So here I'm emptying the water. So I'm just emptying the water. It's just the water I emptied. So. so once the plants are done from the dryer, we can easily now bring them to the dry area. So we are done with the wet, we come to the dry area. We have two 20 ton dehydrators, one, two. We are still expecting the sterilizer, so for now the sterilizer is not available, but we can dehydrate. So here is where the sterilizer will be. This is where the freeze dryer will be. This is where the um, last freezer will be. Why this is the grinder, so by today, the grinder will be connected. So the grinder will be connected, so the grinder can do multiple, as smooth as you want it to be. We have different teeth, or as coarse as you want it to be. So we have different teeth for different uh, levels. Then the dehydrator for us to see how it looks. I'm turning on uh, the ACs. So, if what you are dehydrating is not a lot, a lot, these are the dehydrators we used to have. So it can be, even if it's small scale, we can still dehydrate and grind for you. So it doesn't matter the size. So let's come like this. It doesn't matter the size, we can dehydrate for you. So this is on right now. Oh, it's going to come on. Look at this switch on the right. I think I turned on this, but I want to use that. This is 
televizyon. So the first one I turned on was this. So it's coming on. So it, you notice it has peaked. So we know it is working because if you look at the screen, you can see how the air is circulating. You can see how the air is circulating. Right now, the temperature inside here is 27.4 degrees. 27.4. The humidity inside is about 89% humidity right now. So I can decide to put it on the timer. I can set the mode. I can decide uh, what percentage of dryness I want. I can set the humidity, all of that can be done. So we'll just check how the inside is. So once that is set, nobody comes in here. So here, you get to see how the inside looks. So, right now it's just coming on. Can work in literally. You can literally work in. I don't know the biggest advantages of this. You can work in and all the trays, you can bring them outside and take them back in. That's one of the biggest advantages. And Another big advantage is the fact that the tray holes are not so large. So that means you can put in very tiny cut stops on it. You can put in tiny things that have been cut and it will still be fine. And it will still be fine. So. So here we have the parking space, all these places are available for trucks, so you can, we are still going to clean all here up, you can turn, move out, and from here to the main gate, as our main gate is less than a minute drive, but if you are coming with a small car, our car park is just, uh, after this building there are some containers, then you have the car park, so there is a lot of space then, even if you are coming and you need to spend the night, we have our chalet where you can rent, a room we have room self cons we have two set of room self contains one of them has toilet bedroom kitchen the other one has just toilet and bathroom no kitchen and we have a market where you can buy whatever you want to buy from food to clothes to provisions to making calls to what you can cook if you don't want to buy cooked food to bakery everything is in the market and you can get whatever it is you want on the farm. The type of person that likes sports, while your products are being dried, you can go play sports, football, volleyball, badminton, uh, board games. You can also watch, um, what is it called, sports on TV, all for free. There is a church, there is a mosque, there is a health center, so you are covered while you are processing your things. This is what we have at the moment. But like I said, we are still going to have um, the sterilizer that is coming, the freeze dryer, and the blast freezer. Between now and at the end of second quarter of next year, all of these things would be up. But if you need to dry your fresh product, you need to cut your fresh product, we are available to help you do that. Much more than that, we can also provide you dehydrated product. That means you don't even have access to the fresh from ginger, to garlic, to turmeric, to chili peppers, to bell peppers, to leafy veggies from your meat, your parsley, your celery, whatever it is, just let us know. We have access to that. To even your habanero peppers, we can help you dehydrate. We can help you turn it into powder. And that way you don't have to go through the whole hassle. You can just do your mistress and all of that and hit the market with your brand. By November, December, the sterilizer will be up. That ensures that you have food grade uh, Grade in all of these products. So reach out. We are in Awowo Ewekoro local government in Ogun State. Ogun State, 
not far from Lagos. There is a cargo airport here that can also be used to be built to you. So yeah.